The M Health Grand Tour was a cycling challenge presented by the GSMA and the International Diabetes Federation European Region under the patronage of European Commission Vice President Nelly Cruz. Its purpose was to prove that mobile health solutions can help people with diabetes live fuller lives. The ride departed from Brussels and after 2100 kilometers and 22,000 meters of climbs arrived in Barcelona, the mobile world capital. A research study into the effects of multi-day endurance exercise on blood glucose levels was conducted during the ride. Taking part were 10 professional and 10 amateur athletes with type 1 diabetes, plus 10 athletes without diabetes. Designed by Professor Michael Trinell of Newcastle University, the study's purpose was to begin to form evidence-based exercise guidance for all people with diabetes. To enable the study, the GSMA formed a cross-industry partnership to build an entirely wireless mHealth solution. Dexcom provided continuous glucose monitors worn by the riders, a heart rate monitor and bike computer collected other statistics, Ant Plus provided short-range connectivity between devices, and Sony Mobile provided handsets on which the riders tracked their stats. HMM provided machine-to-machine -machine modules that transmitted the data to a live web portal and to the cloud for later download. McCann Health provided web data visualization. And Orange provided the software platform that tied all the technology together, as well as mobile connectivity throughout the five countries. The M Health Grand Tour provides a unique opportunity to test um, the technology to its limits. You know, it's often easy to get a feeling for how a technology would work in the lab or in a, in a smaller study where, you know, extreme care is taken to make sure everything goes perfectly all the time. But this is a real world exercise. This is strenuous activity that people are putting uh, the sensors through a torture test. This is the, the largest, probably the largest study of type 1 diabetes patients um, which has ever been put together, I guess, particularly out in the field under free living conditions. So it's extremely exciting to be involved in. At Dexcom, we feel that empowering patients is our number one goal. Uh, diabetes and often medicine in general is too often viewed as a spectator sport and it doesn't allow people to take control and to manage uh, to their own personal needs. For people with type 1 diabetes, uh, exercise really does throw a, a spanner in the works for their, how they manage their disease um, and unfortunately exercise really does change how their body responds to insulin when it's administered. Uh, and unfortunately exercise can be actually quite dangerous for them in that their blood sugar levels can drop dangerously low so there's not enough sugar for the brain essentially meaning that they can experience what's called hypoglycemia um, and that can range from just feeling hungry going pale pins and needles to in, in more severe cases actually leading to collapse seizure and, and very rarely uh, death and research does suggest that many of them will just simply avoid exercising altogether um, which is obviously a concern because exercise does actually carry many health benefits for them. It's important that the technology is mobile and wireless because that is the future. If uh, a subject wanted to share their information such as a parent or a child, mobile platform provides an opportunity for that information to be shared seamlessly with a parent who can then take corrective action as necessary. The Continuum Health Alliance is supporting the mHealth Grand Tour because they base the mobile architecture and the mobile elements on the Continua design guidelines. They did this because of the interoperability and the ability to deploy the system quickly. And what is also unique is that we do have uh, obviously Team Novo Nordisk, a elite group of riders who are in exceptionally good glycemic control and we hope to try and learn some things from them to see how they manage their diet, how they manage their insulin therapy, I know everything that they do to maintain such good glycemic control. Qualcomm Life is investing in mHealth solutions so that we can help bring these systems to market, commercialize them, so that people with chronic disease can use them to manage their conditions much better. For example, the diabetics in this ride were able to get information 24-7 to be able to manage the condition much more effectively. So I'm participating in the clinical study. Um, I think it's really important just because I've kind of never had the, the opportunity to look at my blood sugars using a CGM over such a long period of time. It's 14 days worth of, of exercise. Yes, I'm a mother of uh, two boys, uh, seven and four years old. And I also work almost full time. 
I try to work full time and I train a lot. I'm a non-diabetic uh, control patient in this clinical trial and it's been fascinating for me because for years and years and years I've been telling patients what to eat, what not to eat, how to manage their glucose, how to manage their uh, complications and lifestyle around uh, diabetes. For the first time in my life I really see the consequences of incorrect eating and exercising and how important it is to really monitor and be aware uh, on a continual real-time basis of what our sugar levels really are. The longest ever miles I've done in a day would be 126 miles. So one mile more than I think the longest day on, on the trip. Um, but looking at it, it was a lot flatter than the longest 125 miles on this trip. The longest ride I've done uh, in one day is uh, 300 kilometers. It was last year during a race. Oh, great food. Uh, so I would have I would have put in probably close to a thousand uh, a thousand kilometers uh, a month. Um, longest of those probably 100 and, 160 170 kilometers, and then I've done a couple of stage races. I'm a little bit uh, apprehensive about the ride. We put in the hard yards. <laughs> now it's time to really get out onto the mountains and, and, uh, and prove our, our muscles. It looks like a very tough challenge, so I'm a bit of a realist and fingers crossed I'll make it to Barcelona on the bike, but um, I'll give it my best shot. Orange Team has presented more than 50 employees all involved in this cause, all involved in the M Health solution, and Orange presents uh, the way that we see innovation through M Health solution, working in a medical field with the university, with the Dexcom, with the, what we consider the, the medical partners, and very close to the diabetic association, very close to the patients, so we can link both two sides and put in the table what industrials should provide. And it means solid infrastructure, that means an interoperability, and it means also a new way of uh, managed medical data, which could, um, in a way, uh, get a closer link between health professionals and patients. Here at Ericsson, we believe that network society is only in the beginning. And it is where everything that benefits from being connected will be connected. And this fantastic initiative from GSMA fits perfectly into that. And I'm really impressed by the achievements of the riders, but also by what technology can achieve to support such an active lifestyle. Well, now that I've been going for three days, is it now? Um, it's been a lot tougher than expected. The first day was absolutely roasting. Um, I don't think I've ever ridden in, in conditions that warm. Uh, but no, the, uh, the camaraderie between the riders has been, has been really good um, and I've thoroughly enjoyed myself so far. We're a not-for-profit social enterprise company set up to help all people with diabetes or those at risk of diabetes to safely engage in sports and exercise, to provide them with the tools and the opportunity, the education and the uh, technology to participate in sports and exercise and to do it without the fear of either their bloods rising too quickly and having hyperglycemia, or their bloods falling too quickly and having hypoglycemia. Very pleased to be a partner with the International Diabetes Federation and the GSMA who represent the mobile operators worldwide, putting together a solution that we're trialing and to see the benefits and showcase the benefits of technology working to help people live with chronic conditions and engage in sports and exercise. On every turn of the wheel, from Brussels to Barcelona, the riders were connected so that they could follow their own health and well-being throughout the race. And this was all done through mobile robot networks. It's been the most incredible tour so far, not just from uh, all our media and um, technical partners, but it's also been a camaraderie between uh, a bunch of riders getting on their bikes every day and eight hours, nine hours, ten hours and down the road finishing as brothers in arms. My legs are a bit broken, my back's a bit sore and my shoulders are killing me. But other than that, not too bad, pretty chipper. Uh, the first days uh, we thought there was uh, some hills, but actually they, they were just bump roads compared to yesterday. It was the first day of uh, real hills and uh, a lot of climbing. The first hill was like 20 kilometers, I think. The G4 sensor has been absolutely fantastic. Um, it's probably the best piece of diabetic technology. It's kind of a, it's a good 
it's a good high and low preventer. You can see the trends. And I don't even have to look at it because I, uh, if I'm low or, or beginning to go down in blood sugar, I have this um, vibrating on. So it vibrates, so I know the first vibrate is for going down in blood sugar and uh, if it goes on vibrating, I, I know that it is because I'm low. And um, if it's go getting up instead, it beeps and uh, it's a louder beep if I am high. Yeah, it was really cold and uh, it starts raining really early today. And so it felt like a long day to lunch, but actually it went really, really good. And I'm surprised that all the people around us is so positive. Veronica has been a, an inspiration to me. Um, she's an incredible athlete. I've pushed myself further than I probably would have done um, because of riding with Veronica. She's got an incredible leg cadence going up the mountains. I can't quite keep with her, but um, I, I've attempted to and I've stayed fairly close on most uh, occasions. Um, she's a very determined woman even today as we were riding up the last climb. Uh, she had difficulties with her knee, but um, She's managed to get to the top and, and get there and there's, there's, no, there's no way she'd ever have given up going. The reason I joined this was to work out and to find out how my body reacts as a diabetic to prolonged exercise. Um, and the first couple of days were a little bit iffy, that's purely getting into the swing of things. Um, and by day four I had completely nailed diabetes to the mast because my levels were fine, I did 190 kilometres and all things were good. Um, Day five, I came down with a crash because I injected my normal insulin and uh, because I was so emotional sensitive, I hypoed within about 10 miles. I'm very pleased that I found that out because actually you've learned a lot more. So that's, that's why I'm here and it's working. What we're here for is to help our customers and our staff as well. Uh, we're looking at improving uh, awareness of health and encouraging people to take more active lifestyle, but also to look at new innovations and to identify new partners working across boundaries uh, to, to come up with new innovations and solutions that will help uh, manage diabetes and other uh, M health related uh, issues. We think that uh, the people uh, with diabetes that uh, they are doing the whole the epic uh, challenges is is amazing because uh, for us they are heroes because we are doing only three days. So we've just arrived in Barcelona after 14 long hard days and uh, I think the, the first feeling is uh, exhaustion, um, sheer exhilaration and, and also inspiration. Hardest, hardest was definitely the first day. We were completely unprepared in terms of nutrition and hydration and it was 34 degrees, we didn't drink enough, didn't eat enough, didn't eat the right things and we saw that on our Dexcom monitors. Oh, I'm so happy to be in the part of this. <laughs> kind of looked back and selectively uh, excluded the, uh, the pain moments, but there were a few of those. Um, but no, it's, it's been a fantastic opportunity to, to show that, that diabetics can do something as, as crazy as this. So the, the data that we've collected over the last two weeks and, and preceding the race is going to be invaluable in teaching us about not only diabetic patients and endurance athletes and, uh, and how we can manage that, but also the, the huge value of M health, mobile health. I think again with the, the mobile health uh, app and the development of that for the future, that'll be a great opportunity to, to have something like that available on it, your mobile phone, rather than carrying another few computers around with you, or we all there in, in one little app on the phone that everybody uses on a day-to-day -day basis. So, overall, Great, great people, great experience, great, I say cause, but, but overall, yeah, brilliant, brilliant opportunity of a lifetime, I think.